Hi, my name is Dara and welcome back to Dev Cloud and DevOps Ask Me Anything. I got another question and it goes thus. I've been learning cloud and Python for a while now. Do I need to learn frameworks like Django? I'm not interested in software engineering. Also, would you advise me to take the AWS certifications? Thank you. Thanks very much for the question. I think it's one of the necessary questions to actually ask. And knowing your direction is very good for you in the world of cloud and DevOps. Now, let me get to the answer straightforward and I'll put it in plain terms so it comes across quite nicely. Learning cloud and DevOps is awesome. And learning a program language is equally great. I advise anyone to learn programming, to be honest. Uh, you're learning a lot together, which is great if you feel you can handle it because learning coding, learning DevOps, learning all these things together can take quite a bit of a toll on you. But this is my personal take. As a beginner, you should learn one thing at a time and also in increments. And the question that should be at the back of your mind is what is the end goal? Would what I am learning now be a step to getting where I want to be in the next six months, one year, two years, or five years? That I think should be the critical question you should be asking yourself. What I'm learning now, my Django, my Python, would it be part of the things I will be using in the next two years, five years, ten years if I still stay in this field? Well, I can speak to both pathways of software engineering and DevOps because I started out myself as a programmer, although not in Python. I can write Python code, yes, but I'm not as proficient as probably even you in Python. I write Python, yes, but no, not my core programming language. Now, if your end goal, short or long term, is to become a software engineer, learning a web framework with Python will be great. And Django is a great option, just like Flask. You know, all these frameworks are just ways you write your code. It's not like one is better than the other one. It's all based on preference and especially what you feel is cool for you. Now, but from your question, you mentioned you're not interested in software engineering. That is perfectly fine. Software engineering is you being able to write solutions and you don't want to do that. But what you want to do on the other hand is become a DevOps engineer. So if your core focus is DevOps engineering. One thing or some couple of things should be your focus. And I think they should be automating processes, building pipelines, provisioning and maintaining cloud infrastructure. Those are some of the things that should be at the back of your mind. Uh, so you need, you don't need to go deep in the web frameworks, Angular, uh, React, Django, Flask, or any framework that pops up it said tomorrow. You don't need to go to them at a professional level if they want to be a software engineer. So software engineers can worry about going deep into all those. Now, that does not mean you cannot learn Django as an obvious framework you know, for your pet projects. You want to write a website for yourself. You want to write some APIs. You want to write some cool websites for yourself. You could learn Django to do that if you want to do it yourself. That is equally fine. But as a career, if you don't want to pick up Django, that is totally fine also. Now, to your second question, would I advise you to take AWS certifications? Well, I'll be biased here first of all, and I say, yes, although I'm not an AWS expert, I'm an Azure person, but absolutely, I'll say yes, go for AWS certifications because certifications show that you have the vendor proven skills in the cloud of your choosing, and this can boost your CV or job profile or for your gigs or whatever kind of jobs you're looking for. It shows that the vendor, AWS, Amazon in this case, is telling the world that they certify, they verify that you know what you claim to know. That is what the certification essentially is, at least what it means to me. And I've personally seen this over the course of my career being a boost in me getting roles and me getting jobs and gigs. So taking stats is essential. I won't say it's compulsory, but what I would advise you to do is take certifications that are relevant to your goals and where you want to be. Don't just take them for taking sex. So short answer to your question is, nope, you don't need to learn the web frameworks if you're learning to become a cloud or DevOps engineer and certifications are great. Well, I hope that answered your question. Let me know in the comments if you have further questions. And if you got more Dev, Cloud and DevOps questions, feel free to send them in using the link showing on your screen right now or scan this QR code. And you can also find the link in the video description and also as a pinned comment. If you enjoyed this video so far, remember to give it a thumbs up. 
and share with your friends and family and remember to also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any further videos coming from me in the future till i come your way again with another video stay safe and goodbye